another vlog, another week in my life. It's Monday, it's 10 a.m. and I'm about to start my weekly label meeting. But I realized that I have a couple of clips from August that I never actually made into a vlog. So I thought while I'm businessing away in my little meeting, you can enjoy a couple of clips from August and I'll see you back here after my meeting. <laughs> go. Let's go! <laughs> Energy! <laughs> Hello, I'm in traffic and also I'm cringing so hard because I'm vlogging in public but I just wanted to say it's Thursday and I'm going to co-work with my friend now in a coffee shop, so let's do it. I can't wait. Like, it's the movie highlight of our year next year. I just hope I don't get any questions. You know, for Rumia in those days. I was already thinking, even if they offer me like a festival, I would be excuse like, excuse me, excuse me. I, have been, I have things to do, okay? Because, because even if like Jimmy Fallon calls you <laughs> privately. <laughs> my favorite, it's so cute. The poodle? Yeah. Oh, you look so pretty. You look so pretty, my girl. Oh, is that nice? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, well done. Look at you, pretty boy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's so oh. nice. It's getting a little tricky. Jenny, so fast. So you fast. finished it very quickly. past 12 p.m. <laughs> I have had a weekend of ups and downs. I had the best, funnest little house party at my friend's house. On Saturday we did Taylor Swift karaoke. We realized we're not yet ready for the Eras tour because we don't have the stamina. We know the lyrics, we know the songs, we just don't have the stamina and we have no idea how Taylor Swift does it. But there is still a year to go of Taylor Swift karaoke nights, so I'm not worried. <laughs> what I would like to do now is set myself a timer of 20 minutes to research some more producers. Because it's the one thing I keep putting off or not actually focusing on. I'm trying to avoid it. It doesn't bring me joy because it's connected to a lot of feelings of fear of rejection of doubts about my album and my future and whatever and writing emails which is not a thing i'm good at <laughs> so i thought today i'll put myself a timer on and just do 20 minutes of it and then i can stop and do something different but just to actually start and get this going because i actually need a producer if i want to do an album it's just how it goes enjoying it. What a surprise. So I will do another 20 minutes. Okay, I did about 50 minutes in total of producer research. I'm feeling good about it, but I'm at that point where I'm getting slightly overwhelmed. So I think it's a good moment to stop, do something different and do the same thing tomorrow again. Hello, I'm 
doing another co-working session with Blanca today. So I'm just waiting for my tram that I just missed. So I thought I'll talk to you for a bit and tell you that I'm very sorry that I haven't talked a lot in this vlog. But it's been all over the place and I've just been literally on the laptop trying to find producers, which I will do today as well. But let's go have some breakfast, coffee and friend chats before actually working. <laughs> You haven't commented on my vlog. I know, I haven't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this comes from completely nowhere. I think it's the 5th of September and it's a Tuesday and I haven't vlogged since the Pop Culture Festival, but I just wanted to say that I just got an email from a producer I contacted and it's such a nice email and it makes me so happy because I've been feeling down of like knowing who's the right producer for me and who to contact and if they will ever answer because some haven't answered really and I just wanted to say that I got a really sweet email and really happy about it and I mean it doesn't say anything like it's not clear what will happen but I guess we're, we will jump on a call in the next couple of days and speak about the possibility of maybe working together and that's really exciting but yeah right now I'm just happy that I got a reply and I'm like in my weird summer outfit but because it's still not autumn and yeah that's my little update I don't even know where I'll put that in the vlog because this is like coming out of nowhere but yep <laughs> okay I hope you enjoyed that little sequence of my day spent in the month of August. Now we're back to the present day, September 18th. And I just finished my label meeting. That went really well. And yeah, there's a lot happening this week actually, which I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> about already, but I'm trying to keep calm. But tonight I have a, an info call for fundings in Berlin, like music fundings that I wanna apply for. Then tomorrow night, I'm going to a Spotify event, which I'm really excited about. And then on Wednesday, a friend of mine, Alex, who's also with Fluctua Records, she is performing at the radio Radio 1. If you are from Germany, you might know it. It's really big and she's performing for them and having like a little interview. So I will go there and support her and just check out the studios because it seems so cool. And then I have a call on Thursday with a possible producer for my album. <laughs> well, I don't want to jinx anything, but I already had one call with her before and she seems super sweet and super enthusiastic and she liked my demos and I really like her vibe, so let's see so yeah there's a lot happening but for now we're taking one step at a time one day at a time and one to do this task at a time and actually the next thing i have to do 
Let's write some invoices. Life admin, here we go. Whoop, whoop. I feel like I've been at my desk the whole day working on a lot of different things. I do feel accomplished though. <laughs> but now the last thing of the day is the info call for the music funding. And I'll get cozy for that and make some notes. And then I'm done for the day. Yeah. Hello, I'm just getting ready for the Spotify event. I just came out of the shower and I thought I would tell you about my feelings. Because to be honest, I'm really excited about this event, but also kind of not. <laughs> Wait, let me first like explain what exactly this event is. It's like, uh, it's called Spotify Introducing. I've never been there before. And I think they do it like in different places and stuff, but it's basically like this concert with up and coming German artists. How I understand it. So yeah, why am I excited and not excited? I am really excited because I think it's such a cool thing to see up and coming artists perform. Also, it's a free event. You just kind of need to register and then be there early, how I understand. <laughs> it's a really cool thing and I've never been to a Spotify event, so that's really interesting but i'm also kind of feeling um kind of feeling insecure as well like i'm at the moment i kind of don't feel that confident about my <laughs> path in life or where i'm at for my age i guess and so i am a little nervous about seeing these young artists who are in the same age group as me I think and they're like full on in their success era and I'm kind of in my insecure era <laughs> and the I don't know where I'm going era <laughs> so yeah I don't know it's just a personal thing I think also because I'm going alone to this event because at the moment most of our friends aren't in Berlin so I'm going alone and I guess that kind of multiplies my like inner critic voice, you know? So yeah, I'm hoping that I'll just go there and have fun and like get inspired by the artists instead of putting myself down, you know? It can always go both ways, but I feel like my fear should definitely not hold me back of going and just seeing what it's all about. And who knows, maybe one day, hopefully one day, Definitely one day I'll be on one of those stages, you know? But yeah, you gotta start as the audience. That's just how it is. <laughs> You've been gone.
Hello, good day. It is the next day. I had such a good time at the concerts. All my worries that I was talking about, they faded away. And to be honest, they first went into worries of the possibility of not getting into the concert. <laughs> because the line was crazy and I think I told you before that there was like a guest list system that you register to the guest list but if there's too many people coming it doesn't matter if you're on the guest list or not they won't let you in so I got there early and still the line was like longer than Berghain or something and so yeah I was stressed for a second but after one hour of waiting, I got into the concert and it was just so great. I really enjoyed myself. I found it so inspiring and I thought the level of professionality and just quality in general was so good. Like the sound was great. And I even managed after the first act, somehow I managed to get like quite up front, like one of the first rows. So I was standing right next to a speaker and the sound was still great. I don't know, I just found the artist so inspiring. And I know that yesterday I was talking about like the fear of feeling insecure, or like envious of the artist's position because they're like these rising artists that are in my age group and they're like doing all the things I wanna do in life. <laughs> But to be honest, it just kind of inspired me to like get to that place, if that makes sense, and get to do these things and that it's actually possible. And it also showed me again how important it is to have good live sound and to have like a good show, you know? Like even the first artist, who only played by herself with guitar and piano. She just was herself and she like sometimes was even speaking into her own performance of a song. Like she was singing and then she interrupted herself to say something because she found it funny and then continued even though her songs are like full on emotional and stuff. And even though it like seemed chaotic in the way that she presented herself, it was so authentic and it really just supported me in this like mindset of, okay, just do your thing and do it well, you know? And also if you know what you enjoy doing on stage or which part of performing you enjoy, or like if you enjoy talking a lot or not talking a lot, if you enjoy being very dramatic and mysterious or more like relatable and kind of having a conversation, you know, just do that, you know, because all of these artists did something different, but it was completely authentic to them, or at least it felt like it. And I think that was also one of the reasons why the audience was so connected. Like everyone was having so much fun and the whole energy in the room was just great. I do have to say, I kind of feel like hungover today, even though I didn't drink alcohol or anything, but I was standing on my feet for like five or six hours and just going strong and dancing and stuff. So it was hard to get out of bed, but no rest for the wicked, or how do you say that? <laughs> because I am about to go and support my friend Alex at her Radio 1 radio show or like it's a performance and interview very exciting so yeah i'll take you with me Washington, D.C., Maryland. Hello. 
it is. Thank you. I'm not really surprised. I know that you are so much into fashion, so I was really curious <laughs> on figuring what you're definitely wearing tonight. I played in a band and it was I struggled a lot to feel like I was getting my own sound out, that I could write the songs that I wanted to write. And so when I started working with Ableton, I just really experimented with sound design and arrangement and was able to really make it my own. Time is wasting away. I sign in for the day, pending tasks for the space where my dreams used to lay. Am I better than this? Better settle for this whole way. Please keep this one more day to erase Good morning. I have to be quick because my online vocal lesson starts in like two minutes. <laughs> but I just wanted to say yesterday was so much fun. I loved it. Alex was so good, so professional, so charming. And I even got a shout out because she said that she co-wrote a couple of songs on her new P with me and said my name on radio. <laughs> I was like a little fangirl. But yeah, you probably saw the clips. It looked so cool. Anyway, now I have a day basically on my laptop because I have my vocal lesson now. And later, later I have a call, my second call with a producer, the same producer, but we're like getting to know each other a little bit more and having like a little chat today. So I'm really excited about that. Also online, so you won't see much more than me just being on this desk today, <laughs> but I hope that's okay. Anyway, let's go. I am done with my meeting with the producer. Oh my God, it was so much fun. I just love like that exchange of ideas and just being on the same page. And, like, Junchi, what's up? Just like talking about songs that inspire us, that could work for like, as production inspiration for specific demos of mine. Just ignore Juno. We're going out in a second. And yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. And I'm really hoping it will work out to work with this producer because I have a good feeling, feeling about it. And yeah, it just makes me excited. And I guess that's what it's all about, you know? But yeah, I think I will end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something from it, maybe some creative inspiration, maybe just inspiration on what to do in Berlin. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you again in two weeks. And please consider subscribing if you enjoy my personality in my videos. <laughs> or just like my video, do whatever you please. Follow me on Instagram. Whatever suits your way of interacting with the internet most, you know? <laughs> okay, bye!